To have a professional recording of your voice, you need to be able to edit the recording. I will show you how to get your voice cleaned up and sounding great, with a few extra professional editor tricks too. Let's start by looking at the two audio editors we'll be using. They are Adobe Audition and Audacity. Many of the principles of editing work in a similar way in both software types. The version of Adobe Audition I'll be using is CS6, which is a much older version of Audition, but it works perfectly well for your editing and you are more likely to find a second-hand version on sites like eBay where you can buy it once and never have to pay fees again. That's right, no monthly payments! The editing I will show you will also work on newer versions of Adobe Audition and our second audio software, Audacity, which is completely free, links in the description. First, let's look at the audio file you will have once you have recorded your voice either on a separate audio recorder like a Zoom recorder or directly into your PC. Make sure you know where the file is and keep all files together to make it easier to locate the edit. Bring the file into the editor either by dragging and dropping it or open through the file menu. Now make sure you can see the waveform. In Adobe Audition, it is normally immediately visible. Same for Audacity. Now the first thing is to cut out the parts you don't want. But with audio editing, it is destructive editing, unlike video editing which is non-destructive, which means if you don't have a copy of your original recording, you will lose that copy. So before you begin editing, save this file as edit or whatever name you are happy with. That way you are not damaging your original file. So, first listen through your recording and see where the bits are that you don't want. This is our sample recording, are made with some intentional mistakes and audio problems we will fix. Welcome to the luxury spa. Here you, here you can relax and be pampered. Our 24 hour staff, our 24 hour staff, our 24 hour staff have the best training and will serve your every need. Stay and enjoy. Stay and enjoy. Stay and enjoy. Select each piece at a time and delete it. Listen back to each section as you go to be sure you didn't delete something you want. Go through the entire recording and remove all the pieces you don't want. Then listen through the recording again from the beginning to the end to be sure nothing is missing. Then clean up all the breaths and noises. For the breaths, you can simply select the area of breath and click silence. Don't use delete as this will bring the words too close together. Listen to the spacing between the words after silencing it to hear if the space now sounds too long with the breath removed. If it does sound too long, simply cut a portion out. Normally about a third to half the length of the silence is fine, but it needs to feel natural. Welcome to the luxury spa. Here you can relax and be pampered. If you cut too much, it sounds like this. Pampered our 24 hour. If you cut too little, the gap is too long and sounds odd. And be pampered. Our 24 hour staff, as you go, listen for noises like pops and mouth noises. If you hear a pop, simply select the beginning of the word and reduce the bass. This graphic equalizer setting works great. Pampered and be pampered. For most mouth noises, you can use a high cut like this. If that doesn't work, you can select a portion of the word that is clean and replace the bad section. Also look out for big spikes that you need to remove or reduce in amplitude. A simple spike like a cough or electrical noise you can just cut out by selecting it and hitting delete. 
If a part of a word is a spike, select that portion only and reduce the amplitude by doing a minus 3 dB cut or minus 6 dB cut, whatever reduces it to a reasonable level. Once you have cleaned your entire recording, listen back again to hear if the whole file is clean or if you missed anything. Welcome to the Luxury Spa. Here you can relax and be pampered. Our 24-hour staff have the best training and will serve your every need. Stay and enjoy. Then if you're happy with the recording, save a copy and make a new copy so you don't affect that recording. Now we're going to do some audio processing. For this final part, we need to level and process the audio so it's ready to use. First, normalize the audio so it's about 98% of the maximum. Then use a hard limiter to cut the peaks down to size. You can go 2 dB at a time and then normalize again until the wave looks about even. This file can be used as your final audio or now you can process the audio to give it that sound that you want. In Adobe Audition, go to the multiband processor and in Audacity, go here. If you just want an even sound, you can use a Classic Master. Welcome to the Luxury Spa. Here you can relax and be pampered. Our 24-hour staff have the best and then normalize it again or if you want a fat sound like a radio broadcast or you just want the audio to be loud and strong, then use the full broadcast processing. Training and will serve your every need. Stay and enjoy. Be sure to normalize the audio again to about 98% or 100% if you really want to squeeze out every bit of loudness. I like to keep it at 98% to be sure it's safe and doesn't clip over 0 dB. Here is our final processed audio. And be pampered. Our 24-hour staff have the best training and will serve your every need. This can be the file you send to a client or you can mix it with some music for your own production. Next, we look at editing a complete radio jingle or DJ drop from start to finish. This will require multi-channel audio mixing. That is the next video. If it's not ready yet, be sure to subscribe to not miss out on that one.